Well then, sports fans, <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Time to do another video on the Corsa. I have the key. I'm going to show you what I want to do today. For one, I'd like to fix my key so it actually unlocks the car when I press unlock. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I give up. Right, it's driver side. Driver side, driver side, driver side, driver side. Now I don't know if it's going to set the alarm off, so I can always take the key in the ignition. Okay. Take the key out so it shuts up now. Right, so here we are. Inside the Corsa. Oh, see, I know what I want to do, but I don't know if it's going to look right. Because I want to paint this. Well, I wanted the silver centre console, but obviously this is supposed to be budget. This is Project Flip, it's supposed to be cheap. But I wanted to make it just, I wanted to do something to it that was going to make it look a little bit different. So, I was going to get the silver one, but to try and save money, I was going to paint the one we've got. But is it going to look right if I paint the top bit, paint this around, but leave that black? Because obviously I can't paint that, because then the person who buys it won't know what, what's what, will they? Hmm, I'm going to have a look on the internet and see what I can do. So I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do to the centre console to try and make it look a bit newer, like one of the later models. And I'm stuck a little bit because this is the cheaper version of this unit here um, and it doesn't separate and if I paint it it's going to cover up all the numbers. So what I think I'm going to do is leave this black, leave this black because they match, but then remove this bit and remove the top hood bit, paint them silver so then it's split silver and black. And it should look pretty good. Put the surround back around that CD player. As in, like, fit it properly. Because at the moment it's not fit properly. Um, and I think it'll look pretty smart. Silver and black. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, I think silver and black is it'll look alright. As you see what paint I've got now. So we're going to have to pull this radio back out. Because I'm going to need to get to the screws and that which hold the centre console in. Which I'm hoping we can see now. But I don't think we can. Um, I've never took a freaking course of centre console like that. Like I can see a screw down there. I can see a screw down there. It's helpful. That might then allow that trim to come out. If you can see the screw just through the vent. I can see the screw. It's see the vents must pop out. I don't want to freaking force them. I have no freaking idea what I'm doing right now. All you course fans out there, you'll be like, oh, there's something behind there, and there's this here, and that probably... You know what, I think that pries up. Does it pry up? I don't freaking know. I've never done a course before. Hold on. I did something. So all I did was push it far to the left, and then it literally popped out. So I'm hoping, with one hand on the camera, and one hand maybe on here. There we go. See, you just watch me do it. Just be careful if that's painted, you know, you might want to some, use something that's rubber or something. Right, so that gets us at those four screws. So we need to undo those screws now, and it'd be sod's law that that's not the right size. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. I, that's the only torque screwdriver I have is the right size. That means I don't have to use hand keys. So make sure you save your screws. One. I'll come back to it when I've done the other screws. There's no point in watching me do these screws. Okay, so I pulled off this cover, it just pulls off at the sides, then it shows you this tab at the top, same tab at the bottom where my finger is, and you press them in, and it has a button pops out, which then releases it from the plug. I'm hoping now, what's freaking stopping it now? I can see the plug still attached to the bottom of there. Do I have to push that off? silly design this is. Whoever designed this, this is a silly design. So there's something stopping it somewhere. I don't freaking know where it is now. But the epoxy thing, I'll find it. So I figured it out. You have to press these two black tabs down in the middle whilst pressing that tab in on the side and that tab in on the side there which releases it from that one and obviously that one and allows it to slot through. So now we have this bit so we can clean this up and paint this. I'm just going to undo those two screws there 
um, and we'll hopefully be able to take off. Oh, that's the wrong picking screwdriver. Hopefully, we'll be able to take off that top cow, and we'll be able to um, paint the top. Hopefully, this just comes off nice and easy, and hopefully, leaves the clock in place. But you watch, the clock will be probably screwed into the yeah, I can see it's moving. God damn it. That screws out. Yep. So we're gonna undo that clip. Which you press that tab down in the middle. Just there, press that tab down, and then pull the arm back and that will release the plug and then we'll have to take the clock off. <sighs> there it is there though. So for those of you who wanted to know, that's the plug. And like I said, you press in that little tab in the middle and it allows this arm slide down which releases this this is the back of the clock if any of you actually want to change the color of the clock you know because at the moment it's like the yellowy orange or whatever it is they're the bulbs you take the bulbs out and you can put colored leds in or you could paint the bulbs if you're a bit old school like me and um, disconnect i'm going to drop it first take that screw out take that screw out and then we'll be able to take this cover off and go and clean it up ready for paint I just want to start off by saying I'm not a professional painter, so if I do something wrong, I've done it wrong. This is how I'm going to paint my centre console, so that's my disclaimer now. So, I'm going to start off by giving everything a light sand. This is to help the paint adhere to the plastic. So because we're trying to be as cheap as possible, I'm using paints I've already got in my in, in the in the garage. So we have Halford Primer, grey, and we've got Rover Gunmetal Metallic Silver. Now that is what I originally used to spray stuff on the Supra's engine covers before I went red. red. So I've already got it and it's nearly full as well. Uh, not much left, but there should be enough for what we need. So after sanding them, I give them a wipe down. Ideally use some degreaser if you have some. Um, gets rid of any crap that's on the surface. I can still see crap on it. Oh no, it's not. It's actually on the plastic. Um, yeah, and then shake your can up well and go to town on it. Just don't lay it on too thick. Hoping I can do one coat with the primer, especially now it's got a good adhesion to go to. Um, but we'll see how we get on. So I ended up giving it two coats of primer, um, just to be sure. So now it's time for the top coat, or colour. I'm going to try and lacquer as well on top of I'm never good with lacquer. So I'll spin the camera around. This is, you, this is it at the moment. Nice and dry because it's still about 20 degrees out, so it's dried really quickly. So I'm just going to sit the camera back on the mount and have a go. It's definitely going to require two coats. Um, it's laid on a bit thick around the edge, you see. And I don't want it to run. But I still need some more on the inside where the vents are going to sit. And that top there needs a, another coat anyway. Um, I did make a mistake. I thought I was painting it silver. It's called gunmetal grey. <laughs> oh well. We are now have a gunmetal grey top half of the centre console. So it is the day after I started spray painting because um, it got dark and got dark. So I brought them in last night. They haven't been lacquered as of yet. They've only had colour. I think it looks pretty good. 
So I'm back to lacquer them. I'm more impressed with this one. It looks really smooth. Yeah. Really good. Really happy with that. So I'm going to give them a quick wipe down just because they've been in there overnight to make sure there's no dust on them. And then we'll spray lacquer on them. I hate the smell of lacquer <laughs> and the taste of you get in your mouth as well. Blech. Right, so as I've said before, I am not a professional painter, so don't start whinging at me. I'm very happy with how that looks at the moment, obviously it's still wet. I think I've messed up somehow on here, but not quite sure because the lacquer's gone white. And at, the, at the very bottom on that very edge, it's gone white and there's a run there. Right, I'm just going to deal with it. Well, I say I'm going to deal with it, I'm just going to leave it. Let it dry and have a look at it and then we'll probably put it on. Because you're not going to see it anyway. But you'd see this one all the time. And that one's a brilliant. It's so shiny and so smooth. And damn it, I've seen a run on it. But we'll live with it. We'll live with it. And you can only learn by getting better. Or you can only get better by learning and by doing. So That's where we're at at the moment. So just if you wanted to know again, we use the grey primer. Followed by the Rover Gunmetal, followed by the clear lacquer. That's what we've used. Two coats, two coats, and one thick coat, which is probably my fault. Probably should have done two light coats, but you live and learn. Alright lads, just had a bit of a thundery downpour, but these are now dry. <laughs> Nearly dropped them. So I'm going to go and fit them and get this video wrapped up. So it's just time to build everything back up now. So just thought I'd quickly show you. Now it was in. I just need to put the vents in and put the CD player that's not a CD player back in. It looks. I like that. I think it's a nice colour. It's not in your face, but it makes it look a bit more modern. I mean, in proper daylight, it's like nine o'clock at night. It might look a bit better. But I'll just build it up and put the vents in, uh, and then we'll be done. And there we go, lads and ladesses, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else that seems to want to watch. I think that looks good. And you know what? The best thing about that is it cost me nothing because the paint was already in in stock. Hang on, you know what I mean? The paint was already in the garage. So that mod has been helpful for anyone that wants to obviously paint paint their centre console. But it's been a nice video. Hopefully the new owner will like the colour. I think I think it's a nice colour. The other choices I had was black, which I could have done gloss black. Or purple, because that's all I had in the garage. <laughs> oh no, I got a red as well, same red as the Supra, but I thought I'd go for this anthrite grey. So hopefully you've liked that, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, and hopefully you might have learnt something. If not, you just follow in Project Flip, and I appreciate it. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to check out bluediscarriage.com, and you can get some of my awesome new stickers from there. Um, that's where we're at. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Just like, subscribe. Comment, bah, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Peace. Here's later. Bye.